Uh, just a quick video. This is for Dave Alf actually. He was asking about couplings, etc. Uh, recommended KD couplings or KD. There's different ways you can pronounce it, I think. Uh, these two wagons here, I've got the flashman coupling systems, and they just go into the standard NEM pockets. And they just, you can just lift them out of a rake like that dead easy. They look like that. Right, next set. Is these are the same wagons but with KD couplings on standard short KD couplings. There's loads of different variants and different lengths you can have on KD. There's a bit of slacking in there. You can again you can lift these out of a rake of wagons, you don't have to mess around trying to uncouple them. And they just slot in like that. Very easily connect. But what I was saying about modifying coaches, say the old Hornby coaches etc. These two wagons here, uh, these have got KD couplings on as well but they've had the original coupling mechanisms ripped out and they've had the KD box um, um, locators glued into position and then the KD type coupling that's in there, something like that. I hope you can see that. That's in there, so you get a really close coupling on a prototypical, and basically it just looks like that. Let's just get a zoom in on that. There's the box, just glued into position. And that will enable uh, probably old Hornby coaches to be uh, coupled up using this a similar way to this. So that's just a quick tip really, that's all. Yeah, what you've got to bear in mind with these coupling systems is the bar that comes down here. If you've got any uncoupling ramps or anything on the track where it might snag, uneven track or you know stuff like that, any wooden ramps, these possibly might snag it because they've got the bar that comes down. And that is the only downside about this coupling system. But again, they're very good. Do you recommend them?